Hello, my name is Amy, and I'm one of your fellow students here at CWI. In this video, I will be walking you through the CWI Library website. Let's begin at the CWI homepage. If you hover over the Current Students option, a menu will drop, and from that menu, go ahead and select Library. Once the library's main page is open, let's stop for a moment and check things out because there are some important things going on here. Life gets pretty hectic as a college student, and we can't always make it in during library hours to ask our questions. Fortunately, the library has provided us the ability to speak with a librarian 24-7. On the right side of your screen, you'll see a large yellow box, and using this box, you can speak with a librarian via chat, sometimes our own librarians, sometimes librarians from other schools, but the point is that you can get the help you need when you need it. So still on this main page, I'd like to draw your attention down to these small red options here and specifically to the requested option. This is a fabulous feature because if you find what you need and you can't access it within the databases that we have here, you can request it and CWI will get it for you. You will probably be looking for peer-reviewed journal articles for this class so the librarian will find the article that you need that we do not have and email it to you. They will also hold a book that you request at either campus or mail it directly to your house if you prefer. Let's move on now. Go ahead and choose articles since you're required to use peer-reviewed journal articles for this class. After this, you will enter search terms into the bar. It is important to note here that you'll want to begin with broad terms. For example, if you're trying to find out what the impact of iPads is on primary school education and you enter the search terms iPads in American primary schools, you will get five available articles. And this is a problem because the chances of one of those articles having all of the information that you need are really very low. Now broaden the terms just a bit. to iPads and education. And you'll see it, it comes up with more than 4,700 results. This is a better number to increase the likelihood that you will find the information that you're looking for. From here, you'll need to refine your results several times in order to ensure that you're getting the quality of information that you need for this assignment. To make these refinements, look to the left-hand side of your screen to the refine results bar. You'll want to start by making sure that the full text option has been selected. This will help ensure that the texts are available to you. Next, choose the references available option. And this is important because if you find that one perfect article, a very good strategy is to use that article's reference list to find other sources. Next, you'll choose scholarly peer-reviewed journals because that is what Michelle expects. And then down here you'll see a date bar and if you click and hold the left hand side of that date bar you can narrow your search by date and you'll want to do this because we're looking for the most current information. A good rule of thumb is to start by searching for information no more than five to ten years old. All right, so now you are left with 78 options. Remember that we started with over 4,700. This is why we start broad and then get focused. Because of these 78 options, there is probably one that contains some of the information that you need. If we had started with five options and then entered our limitations, there probably would not have been any articles left to choose from. Now that we have the best possibilities, you'll want to begin by reading the abstracts, and they are here in the middle. And you'll be reading them looking for keywords and sentences. The abstract is going to give you a sense of whether or not you need to read further. And when you see something in an abstract that you think you might be able to use, that's when you open the full document and read further. A note of caution though, abstracts can be misleading. If the first two or three that you open don't have what you need, don't get discouraged, keep going. And if your search terms turn up nothing that you like, try different search terms. 
If you're like me and you're not good at coming up with good search terms, don't fret. The librarians are particularly gifted. And they really are amazingly helpful. There's a library at the APIN campus, so you can go in there for help as needed or use the chat option shown earlier. So in conclusion, that is how you find resources in the online library. Best of luck on your projects.